to everyone, it's Linnea here for iCrafter, and today we're taking a look at the Christmas Treat Lantern Add-on Die Set. This die set has six dies, and it is meant to go with the original Halloween Treat Lantern Die Set. So from that original die set, all I'm going to be using are the two pieces you see there on the left, the ones that's going to cut the front and the back of the box, as well as the ones going to cut the bottom. Now the Christmas Tree Lantern add-on die set has a couple dies that you can pop in to this front piece here and create little windows. So I'm going to do all three of these. Let's start with the string of Christmas lights. This large die that you see here, that's from the Halloween Treat Lantern, that's the original die set. And I am just placing that cutout piece that's going to cut the string of lights from the Christmas Tree Lantern add-on die set, popping that right into place. Then I'll use some tape to hold that, and I'm going to die cut some white shimmer cardstock. I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine using my iMen self mending cutting deck as well as a translucent cutting plate. Now I'm just going to pop out all those pieces. They pop out super easily. This die cut, or the dies rather, cut paper like a dream. So I cut out all these pieces, and now you can see here that I have that little window in the front. I need to cut a back piece for my treat lantern, but I don't want to have that same image in the back. You could have that, but I want my back piece to be solid. So I'm removing that drop-in piece, and I'm going to cut a second piece for the back of my treat lantern. I cut my the front of my treat lantern from white glitter cardstock, and I thought that I would add some shimmer, or some color over my shimmer. You can do this with ink blending and masking, but I found it easier to use some alcohol markers and just cover right over this design. So I used green at the center there for the string. I used some yellow for the light bulbs inside of the light. And then I'm going to use some red and some blue to go around and add some color. And you can see there that the shimmer from the cardstock still shows through. Now let's assemble this treat lantern. So you can see here I have my three pieces, my front piece, my back piece, and my bottom piece. There are score lines, and I'm going to score on that one fold line, going backwards on the front piece and forwards on the back piece. There are also score lines on the bottom or the base piece. You're going to have a number of score lines to score here, so you're going to fold up on the sides. And then also there's little tabs that are going to fold in, and these are going to help secure the base of the box to the treat lantern. All you have to do is follow your score lines. It's really quite easy. And now all you have to do to assemble this treat lantern is to just line up that front piece with the base so that it's flush. And then I'm going to add some adhesive there on that flap. You can use double-sided adhesive, tape runner adhesive, or liquid adhesive, whatever you like to use. I prefer to use liquid adhesive. That way I can kind of wiggle that around. Again, you want to make sure that that front piece is flush. So I'm just going to use my eye press burnisher to press that liquid adhesive in place. And then those tiny little flaps that we folded up, those are going to get adhered to the back side of the front of the treat lantern. I will use my eye grip flathead tweezers to hold this in place since there are two flaps here and I only have really like, I have two hands but it would be difficult to hold both in place. I'll use my tweezers to hold one side and then my fingers to use the other side. The tweezers kind of give me an extra hand. I'm going to repeat that process with the back of the treat lantern. So again, I just slid that scored flap into the base of the box, added some adhesive and then adhered those tiny little flaps onto the back of the treat lantern. All you have to do to secure the, um, the front and the back together is to just use some twine or ribbon, whatever you have. I doubled up some baker's twine from my stash and I'm just going to fold this into a bow. Now I'm not good at creating bows, so again, I'm using my eye grip flathead tweezers as an extra hand to hold that knot in place while I form the bow. Then I can just play around with the ends until I get the perfect size bow. Once I'm done fussing with those ends, I'll use my scissors and I will trim away the excess of the ends there to get the perfect length. And I'm also going to add just a drop of glue onto the knot of the bow, so right at the center there. That way I know that that will hold in place. So just trimming away those ends, and that's going to finish my first 
Christmas tree lantern. Super cute, right? So for this second one, I have decided to use a separate drop-in piece. There's three in the um, Christmas tree lantern add-on die set. This one has a little check mark for whether you've been naughty or nice. So I've dropped in that piece. And then there are also the little boxes. And you can switch this up and down. I decided to have it checked so that nice is checked and the um, naughty box is left open. So my recipient has been nice. So I'm just going to, again, build my Halloween treat lantern. Remember, on your front of the lantern, you're going to fold that flap back. On the back, you're going to fold forwards. Then on the base of the treat lantern, you're just going to fold on all of those flaps. You're going to have two long ones on the edges and then four little tiny flaps, two on each side. Nestle that front piece in. You want that to be flush with the bottom of your treat lantern and then I'll add some liquid adhesive to glue this together. So I'm going to add some adhesive onto the bottom of that flap. Remember we folded back for the front piece and that's going to glue right onto the base of the treat lantern. Then I need to add some adhesive onto these two tiny little flaps here and then adhere those onto the back of the front piece. Again, I'm going to use my eye grip flathead tweezers to hold these in place just because that's going to hold pressure for me and give me basically an extra hand. I went ahead and added some holly leaves. These are also in the Christmas treat lantern add-on die set and put that right next to the word nice. This one turned out super cute. I also created the third box just because I couldn't leave that one out. I wanted to make sure that all three of these patterns were represented. These treat lanterns are perfect for putting in a little piece of candy. You can put chapstick in here, washi tape if you're giving these to a fellow crafter. These treat lanterns are perfect for a lot of things. Even if you have one of those battery operated tea lights, make sure you don't actually light a flame because these are made from paper. But a battery operated tea light would be absolutely gorgeous in these Christmas treat lanterns. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more inspiration, you can always go to the iCrafter website. And for more video tutorials, please visit the iCrafter YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.